Hi, this is Fran with Stampendous, and I wanted to just highlight some very fun options that you might enjoy um, with some of our newest, what I hope will become classic <laughs> uh, rubber stamps for uh, Christmas this year. And I started out, the ones on this page were all done with the Copic markers, and I'm working on white, and so you can see a lot of fun ways to do things. And, um, but I wanted to show you some other variations as well. Let's take a look here at our Santa. So when coloring it with a Copic marker on white background, there was a lot of um, the dark colors that made it pop as a stamp, but it didn't let me see as much of the red as I would like. So when I stamped it onto the craft paper and then came in with my uh, color pencils, um, that really helped uh, bring out the reds and the white uh, pops against the craft in the background. And so I thought that was a very fun way to get a nice vintage look and the torn edges seem to go with that. And if you want to glam it up, you can um, enjoy um, covering some of the areas with um, Versamark on uh, Santa's outfit and then um, you could dust it with uh, the crystal embossing powder. Then on this one, this one is Christmas candy. I started out with the idea of just doing it in red and white and I quite liked the look of that, but it is very simple and we'll show you some other samples where we've colored it in all of the multiple colors. And I wanted to also give you a couple other suggestions here. So here I've stamped it on craft paper. And if I take my color pencils, and particularly with the white, I will be able to really get a fun look against the medium tone of the craft paper. So you can see how the white is going to pop. And if I add my reds in between on the candy cane, I will get nice vivid color. Sharpen your pencils so that you can easily get into the detail areas. So that gives you the idea of the look that you can achieve with your color pencils on craft. And then I thought another option that would be really fun would be simply to do white on the red paper. So let's show how this is going to look. This is a nice Prismacolor white. And I do need to sharpen it, but I don't have my sharpener handy. So anyway, you can get the idea here. And on this one, I might just do all white against the red. And the little horses and the reindeer will have the look of the uh, Scandinavian uh, red and white kind of motif. And then another option here, which is quite nice and, and rather a quick option if you want to uh, stamp it with Versamark or uh, your white pigment ink, and then um, using the detail white embossing powder, you'll be able to get a really um, beautiful contrast. And then as I had um, shown in a different video, I'll just mention it here. This is all, all I want for Christmas stamp. And again, we did this with craft uh, and color pencils. We did color pencils over stamped white ink. This was just the pigment white. And here we did uh, embossed detail white with permanent markers to color in. Here are a few more cards I'd like to point out. And this one, uh, we started out with Copic markers on white, 
but I wanted you to see how adding the um, uh, glue pen and the glitter really makes a fun uh, sparkle to all of the snow. And here were several others where the craft paper really lends itself to sprinkling the chunky white embossing powder. And that gives you snow uh, that really shows up against the craft. And it looks quite fun on that one as well. And here the little felt mice again work really nice on the craft paper because you can really make the white pop. Here's another fun one with our little pooch ready to open his Christmas packages. So hope you'll have some fun trying some of those techniques for your Christmas cards for 2020.